I think you can learn a lot about someone from their shoes and I'm going to try and describe the type of person that you are based on the shoes that you wear. Let me know if I'm right and I describe you well and let me know what parts were wrong. To be honest, there's not going to be anything wrong though. This is all based on science and it's 100% accurate. But just to say, this is all just for fun, so don't take it personally. If you do get angry, don't take it out on me. Take it out on Frugal Aesthetic because I stole this video idea from him. If you enjoy this one, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start off with the New Balance 550s first because they've been everywhere this year. And if this sneaker is the one that you've been gravitating towards, then you're probably a massive fan of Aimé Leon Dor. As soon as they drop a lookbook for their latest collection, you're straight onto Instagram stories sharing your favorite looks just to show everyone how much of a fan you are of the brand. And aside from your love for Aimé Leon Dor, you also love these rugs and you think they look great with your 550s. Surely one pair of 550s is enough. No way, not for you. You need at least three or four pairs in slightly different colorways so you can line them up and get that shot. You've suddenly developed a love for the New York Yankees and to show your support, you're rarely seen without one of their caps on your head. Oh, and you've also developed a love for basketball all of a sudden and you sometimes carry one around and dribble it about in your 550s. But not only do you love 550s, most of your collection is made up of New Balance sneakers. You can't get enough of them. Your favorite colors to wear with them are creams and earth tones and you're not scared to wear a pop of color as long as it's paired with earth tones. And after a hard day's work, you come in, you kiss your framed picture of Teddy Santis. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous now. You slip off your 550s and you place them carefully next to your other pair of New Balance, your Clark's Wallabies in the Maple Suede colorway and your Timberland boat shoes. And then it's time to get comfortable. So you slip on a pair of Birkenstock Bostons in the taupe colorway and a pair of gray sweatpants if you weren't wearing a pair already. And that night when it's time to go to bed, you're going to snuggle up with your 550s. So next up, we've got the Adidas Samba fan. And I believe there's two types of fan here. One are the younger lot, so people in their teens and early 20s. And then you've got the more mature lot. I say more mature, it's just people in their late 20s and upwards. But let's start off with the younger lot first. So if you own one pair of Sambas, it's definitely the white pair. You've probably only owned them for about a year max, and since you bought them, it's all you wear. Most of your wardrobe is thrifted and you're not scared to wear bright colors in your fits. Now, even though the vintage style is your favorite, you do like to dabble with the Gorpcore style too, as long as it's thrifted. Your green pair of cargo trousers are your favorite pair of trousers in your wardrobe. You got them at a thrift store, so you don't know what brand they are. But you probably do know what brand they are because you've seen the label inside of them. But you don't want to tell people that because you want people to know that they're thrifted. On the weekend, you throw that tote bag over your shoulder. It's time to hit the town and it's time to go thrifting. If you're not thrifting, then you're probably scrolling through Pinterest or you're posting fit pics on Instagram. Maybe you're posting a fit pic on Instagram of you scrolling through Pinterest. And before Sambas came onto the scene, you were probably wearing a pair of Air Force Ones, but these days you don't wear them that much. It's all about the Sambas. And now for the more mature Samba wearer, even though you do still thrift the odd piece, most of your wardrobe is made up of newer, more minimal style pieces, and you like to give off a smart casual look. You get most of your basics from the likes of Cos, Arquette and Weekday, but you do like to dabble in more higher end brands too, like Studio Nicholson, Ami Paris, and for the ladies, The Row. And if you manage to get a pair before they sold out, then you likely own a pair of the Wales Bonner and Adidas collaboration on the Sambas. This just shows that you take fashion a little bit more seriously and you're willing to splash the cash on your wardrobe. And between working as a content creator, you're probably found sipping on a matcha latte or an oat milk latte. The reason we know this is because you've shared multiple pictures of your drinks on Instagram and you've probably got a video on there somewhere of some slow motion milk going into your ice drink. So next up, we've got the Solomon XT6 wearer and the New Balance 990 wearer. Now, the reason I paired both of these shoes together is because the wearers hang around in the same crew. So if you wear these shoes, your main hobbies are drinking and talking about coffee, bikes and photography. Also, a lot of you are probably passionate runners and you're part of some running club. But some of you 990 wearers have recently just had a kid, so you just don't have the energy to run anymore. And you runners out there, you spend your weekends going for a run with the gang, followed by a coffee and a pastry with the gang. And after that, you head home, change out of your running gear, 
have a shower, slip on the XT6s or the 990s, and then you meet up with the rest of the crew that are dads that couldn't run with you for more coffee and more pastries. You also take the most pictures of your coffee and pastries over anyone else on this list. And again, you post them to your Instagram or your Instagram stories. And on the weekend evenings, we can usually find you making homemade pizza and kicking back with a couple of craft beers, but never enough to get sloppy or drunk no way, you've got to be up in the morning to go running with the gang or to take photos of your pastries and coffees with the gang. Now, although you do still use your digital camera, digital camera, digital camera, you have recently started shooting film and you like everyone to know that. And when it comes to style, function and quality is key. You like to wear oversized clothing that's comfortable, that's practical, and you often stick to wearing the same five or six brands. And also UXT wearers out there, you love a pair of these trousers. For a living, you work as either a content creator, a photographer, or a graphic designer, or a mixture of all those things. And just like the 550 gang, after a hard day's work, you get home, slip off your XT6s or your 990s, and on go the Birkenstock Bostons in the top colorway with your favorite pair of knitted socks. Your home is heavily inspired by Scandinavian design, and you've got the Monocle Guides, Kinfolk, and Popeye magazines all placed neatly around your house. So next we've got the Common Projects wearer, and I feel like they're dying out a bit. A lot of them have moved on to New Balance sneakers, but there's definitely some loyal fans about still. And if this is you, then you still love your common projects, but maybe not as much as you once did. The problem you face is which sneaker is gonna become your daily wearer next. You like the idea of New Balance sneakers, but they just don't seem to pair as well with your outfits as your Achilles low do. You've also thought about going for some similar brands like Koyo, Artisan Lab, and Oliver Cabell to push the boat out a bit, but they just don't quite do it for you like your common projects do. And you like your clothing to fit just right. Your APC jeans, your slim fit chinos, and your Ask Get t-shirts are the workhorse pieces in your wardrobe, and you just can't get behind oversized fits. They make you feel sick. You also have a bit of a soft spot for watches, and if you don't own one yet, then the Rolex Submariner is definitely on your wish list. Your favorite season is autumn as you get to bring out the knitwear and the scarves, and you're all about layering. But as long as it's dry enough outside to wear your common projects. You're into the quieter life and the slower way of living, and nothing beats an awesome stroll with the wife and kids. And a coffee, of course. Your favorite places in the world are Copenhagen and Paris, even if you've never been there, and one day you hope you can live there. Your house is also heavily inspired by Scandinavian design, and you've got Aesop in all of the bathrooms, and all over the house for that matter and you either had or still have a subscription to Serial magazine, which you probably haven't even read, but they're good for photos. And as well as a load of different pairs of common projects, all in different colorways, your footwear collection consists of a pair of beige Chelsea boots, a pair of CDG Converse, and a pair of Mason Margiela Gats. So we're moving on to the famous hoof shoe next, the Mason Margiela Tabby. Now these shoes have really popped off this year and they definitely get a lot of hate, but I'm gonna be talking about the loafers and the boots here, not the sneakers for the people that can't fully commit to the style. So for the loafer wearer, these are probably your first pair of tabbies and you're all about keeping things minimal. You're more into the relaxed fits and oversized fits and you wouldn't be seen dead in anything skinny and you're probably from a bit of a street style background. Some of your favorite brands at the moment are Our Legacy, Prada and Jill Sander, and you get most of your basics from Weekday and Cos. You kind of like Arquette, but it's not edgy enough for you, so you tend to stick to Cos and Weekday. You're all about taking minimal style photos. Maybe it's a picture of your elbow, a glass, maybe the glass has got something in it. And your Instagram feed is the most carefully planned out on this list, and you like to show off how creative you are. So next we move on to the tabby boot wearer. Now your Instagram feed looks a little less planned, but that's how you want it to come across. But in reality, it's very well planned. Now you're more experimental with your clothing than the tabby loafer wearer, and most of the brands you wear are really difficult to get hold of and very expensive. Your everyday person on the street who's not that into fashion has probably never heard of any of the brands you're wearing and you really like that. Sometimes you do like to add a bit of shock factor to your outfits, but normally you save the more out there pieces for fashion week. You're also heavily into the history of fashion and you like to show off your knowledge to other fashion enthusiasts whenever you get the chance. You also know the exact dates of fashion week and you seem to know everyone at every fashion event. Next up, we've got the Adidas Stan Smith wearer. So if your go-to shoe is the Stan Smith, then you're either a diehard fan or you've just always worn them. And for the diehard fans out there, 
you think the Stan Smith is the best white sneaker ever made and it should be respected and worshipped by any sneaker lover. You also know the full history of the shoe and you love to tell people that all white minimal sneakers were heavily inspired by the Stan Smith silhouette. And if anyone, anyone says anything negative about the Stan Smiths, you're going to make it known that you're really not happy about it. So next up, we've got the Veyers or Veja, however you say it. Now, I'm not sure about people in other countries, but I can only speak for the UK here. But if you're wearing these in the UK, then you're a posh lady in your 30s or 40s. You saw Kate Middleton wearing a pair in Hello magazine and you had to get yourself a pair. Now these are your daily beaters for cruising around Waitrose and the White Company in and you're normally dragging around your young children with you. And for some reason you always feel the need to say your children's names out really loud so everyone can hear what fantastic names you've given them. And you either live in a fancy part of London or you live in Bath and where you live, you don't need a 4x4, but you drive one anyway. You also have a massive collection of long down jackets, although when you're in your Veyers, you're normally wearing an overcoat and a pair of denim jeans. And in the evening, when the kids have gone to bed, you pour yourself a glass of red and sit down to watch Bridgerton or Downton Abbey, and you're in your element. And if for some reason you need to dash out the house, you're in a rush, and you can't find your Veyers anywhere, then at least you've got a white pair of Supergas right by the door. So let me know if I got you right. If you enjoyed this one, do let me know as well and I might make a part two. But that's all I've got time for today. If you enjoyed this one, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See ya.